so we just can proceed to the final part of our um, session, and this would be closing remarks and some summing up. And also, we wanted to uh, make a presentation of our educational opportunities uh, that we have in the laboratory. But before this, uh, I think we should uh, just go a little bit back and just to observe what we have done so far. So dear participants, those of you who are here, thank you very much for being with us all this time. Or probably some of you have been here partly, but uh, we think that uh, we, we hope that it was very productive for you. And actually now I, I already uh, see some people in uh, among the participants and I uh, realize that I already know you. So I, 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 we've seen you already all these days. So thank you very much for being here. So um, we think that it was quite a productive time. And we were talking about theories and methodologies of advanced network analysis. So you learned what block modeling is, and then also you uh, were able to see how it is implemented in some, uh, some uh, applied research. Yeah, then we also looked uh, how to work in different um, tools for network analysis, such as PIAC, uh, GIFI, uh, R, uh, some packages in R, and also uh, this uh, was your program. Yeah, then we were talking about textual data analysis and uh, also I think in the day two, uh, Tamara Shiglova also gave you some hints already how to get some data, put it to some uh, service, and then to get network out of this. But uh, then we were talking about a little bit more in the advanced things um, about uh, network embedding models. And also uh, we were looking at some some uh, models for top, some yeah some algorithms for topic modeling, uh, including hierarchical stochastic block modeling. And uh, yeah, then uh, we had uh, the day of uh, applied projects, and uh, we were uh, listening presentation about journalistic roles and uh, the. Uh, Smisharity's uh, concept, uh, Smisharity's case uh, uh, of analysis. And uh, also yesterday we had the presentation by Vika Kapustina, who gave you some ideas how to make web, web scraping with uh, contact. And finally, today we had this qualitative network analysis day. So we do hope that it was really uh, interesting for you. Uh, we uh, think that it was quite intense. And However, uh, we were uh, enjoying this so much during this week. And uh, yeah, and uh, I do hope that you took as much as possible. Uh, now, uh, Irina will uh, tell some words about the, some, some of the statistics that we made about, uh, for, if that we made for this summer school, some preliminary results. However, we will share more a little bit later. And also, she will tell you again how to get the certificate for joining this school. So thank you very much for being with us. We really appreciate your time and your interest. And we will be happy to continue our work. And uh, uh, yeah, so now you know that there is a lab and there is our master program. And we will be really happy to see you again. So now I think I will give the floor to Irina. Yes, Daria, Daria, thank you mm -hmm. very much, uh, dear participants. Thank you for being here with us and staying till the last day, which is Saturday today, and was supposed to be a day off. But in the university, Saturday is normally a study day. Therefore, we keep working, but we are almost there. So uh, I would like just to summarize a little bit and mention some probably basic points and remarks I would like to pay your attention to. So first, uh, I will just very briefly summarize the information about our participants. 
we made this school open to everyone because we just wanted to increase the visibility and the importance of tools and methodology of social network analysis. And therefore, we would like to keep this school open to everyone. So we didn't make any selection process to enroll and start working with us this week. So we made this registration open. And as I mentioned in the beginning, we had quite a significant amount of registrations for this school. And here you see, here we have preliminary results. So we did this analysis. We excluded from here participants from our laboratory. So we take high school of economics, just we go beyond our laboratories. So we didn't count, for example, our research assistants, our interns, or people who come for internship just to our laboratory. So we took our university, excluding our laboratory. And so here we can uh, somehow describe the scope of interest on behalf of different groups or categories of uh, participants. So we, we are going to analyze later how many, um, uh, I think, um, the length of YouTube recordings, how many people came to watch there. So we will look at all that statistical data, right? But here we refer just only to the registration. So here we see that the majority, definitely, it is uh, on behalf of bachelor's students, but we have some participants with the master degrees and also uh, graduate degrees, doctoral degrees. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have this small group of school students, and that is quite interesting for us because we understand that probably there is some interest in, even in high school towards what we do. So it is not only for bachelor's students or researchers from other universities. Then we have, sorry, uh, then we have uh, this um, primary affiliation of the registered participants. So here we have uh, going beyond our laboratory, uh, one third, we can say from high school of economics, we have quite a significant proportion, what is very important for us on behalf of industry and also other universities. Uh, we wanted these lectures to be open and we are really, really happy that there is some interest on behalf of other academic institutions uh, to our school. Uh, a little bit of uh, demographics, so data, uh, and here we see that now, uh, probably more than 50% of our registered participants are females, a smaller proportion of males. So I do not know the reason for that. That is the question for exploration. And also, in terms of occupation, we see that uh, more than the half of participants, it is students. And uh, the second half, so that is 40 plus percent people who work. Uh, I think we didn't include, we had a very, very simple registration form. So probably it is not enough to go for in-depth analysis. I think we didn't have such an option, people who both work and study. So uh, it was possible to choose just one single option. But still, this gives us some picture about the registrations. Then uh, a little bit about academic geography. Definitely the majority of academic institutions, these are Russian universities. It is sort of very expected, but we have some universities, uh, international foreign universities. So if we take this proportion, universities of um, their common independent states, right? Uh, countries SNGM or newly independent states, uh, plus if we sum up with foreign universities, that gives us more than 20%. So I think that is quite, uh, quite a good result in terms of affiliations. Then uh, the geography, academic geography. Mostly participants are from Moscow. We understand that these data are skewed just because we have a lot of participants from high school of economics, primarily where we advertised our 
our school. But we are also interested that our school is quite attractive for some other regions. And here on this pie diagram, we see uh, other federal districts, uh, the academic institutions from other cities which registered for our summer school. Northwestern, uh, that is St. Petersburg primarily, but we have Siberian, we have Volga region, Ural, and we have Central region. Uh, this is the breakdown of the educational background with the um, male female distribution uh, as i mentioned before we have more girls than boys registered for school but here we also see those shares for different educational groups so for bachelor degrees mostly girls came to register here i think this is two thirds right and approximately one third that is about boys so master degree this is pretty much the same proportion, uh, but doctoral degrees, maybe this is a little bit different already. Well, uh, moving next, uh, here we have um, academia, information academia, high school of economics and other Russian universities uh, in terms of the positions or roles. Probably we could be interested here in terms of which uh, other educational institutions saw information about our summer school and registered for our event. And I see here that Moscow State University who is quite a significant proportion, this part in this left diagram. Uh, in terms of the university roles, primarily in Russian universities, we have two large parts. So um, uh, it could be professorship, it could be teaching staff, and it could be research staff. So uh, when people register for a school, they, for example, put associate professor or professor. So we consider this position, this role as a teaching role. But we have researcher and research fellow. So that is about scientific roles within academic institutions. But quite interesting is that we have some academic management here as well. So quite a good result, I would say. Uh, then uh, a little bit about industry, because uh, that is also one of those points, which is quite exciting for us. So here we see that mostly those registrations come from uh, e-commerce and uh, industrial um, analytics. Uh, we see the uh, bar chart on the left uh, about different areas, at least how it was mentioned in the registration form. So here I mentioned once again that there are certain limitations for the registration form. But on the right, uh, we see the positions as I IT specialist, analyst, top management, or simple management. So how those roles uh, were grouped by us for this analysis. And I think uh, for preliminary analysis, that is it pretty much. Uh, we'll go deeper and analyzing all the information on YouTube and Zoom and everything, all the requests, amount of certificates issued, uh, in a time of communication with all our participants and we will come up with more solid statistic uh, data a little bit later. And right now I would like very briefly uh, just mention our program and uh, show once again the study plan with the courses. Because right now after five days of summer school probably it becomes uh, a little bit more comprehensive to look in the structure of the study plan. So overall, we offer this master program to years, um, full-time master program, but we teach it uh, in online distance mode. We have different types of sessions. We have pre-recorded courses with some synchronous webinars for consultation and support of the students. And we also have just typical synchronous online courses with all the materials stored, saved, and made uh, available to all uh, our students. The educational direction of our program is applied mathematics and informatics. So that is how uh, the 
program basically is called according to their state standard, but the name of the program is Master of Applied Statistics with Network Analysis. So in the name of uh, this program, we see two important key parts, Applied Statistics, plus network analysis. Our summer school was uh, had such a focus and emphasis on network, social network analysis. So we uh, probably in the first place focused on this specific domain. But I think that from uh, the presentations you have seen that uh, SNA goes quite commonly hand in hand with applied statistics, uh, different methods, also different tools. Uh, so that is a little bit about the program. So I'm going to move to the study plan. Uh, we offer uh, two tracks for choice during the first year of study either business analytics or computational social sciences. So these tracks are shaped by research seminars during the first year. So our students choose one of research seminars either business analytics or computational social sciences. And during the second year of studies, we have joint research seminar for everyone, social network analysis. So for the second year of studies, this is joint seminar for everyone. We address different requests and probably during different hour sessions, you have seen that uh, data can be analyzed uh, in different ways. And we need here programming skills, we need skills in applied data analysis and social network analysis. Uh, it is nice to have mathematical background with knowledge of some basic mathematical disciplines for the analysis to understand uh, how statistics work. So statistical disciplines here are also very important. In our um, study plan, we have several components. We can group those components as the general component. Um, then we have electives and we can probably distinguish in the study plan research and consulting. So I would also add here research consulting and project work because that is a lot about uh, independent work. That is about, uh, about a lot of work with scientific advisors. And finally here, uh, this is the study plan. Uh, it is published right now on the web page of uh, MASNA program. It is in the section, I think, for the students, and the tab is called syllabus in English, in Russian, Uchebny plan. So this picture is already there, and this is quite a nice structure showing how our studies are arranged. Uh, we have here separate modules. Uh, this is normal format at High School of Economics. We have classes according to modules. And we see that uh, some courses, they can last either for one module, that is two months, or two modules, that is four months. Uh, we have 10 points grading system, uh, which means that all the courses, they are considered to be uh, exam courses. We do not have such a pass-fail system. We have this 10-point uh, system with four points as the minimum passing score. So if you get four, it means like you pass the course, uh, but it is an equivalent to satisfactory grade. Well, uh, here you see there um, required component, compulsory courses, practical work, term paper, master thesis, project seminar, research seminar, that is also about required and compulsory part. But in terms of elective courses, you may shape your trajectory as you wish to. Actually, your trajectory may be shaped by choosing a specific research seminar during the first year, choosing specific electives, working with the research topic with scientific supervisor, working with different projects. It is possible to choose different projects. Projects can be chosen either from the pool of project offered by our laboratory, but also High School of Economics offers uh, such um, variety of different projects, which, uh, which are called structured as uh, projects 
fair ярмарка проектов, where students of the university may choose a specific project, work on that, defend it, and get uh, points and credits for this project. Or uh, a project can be chosen from the pool of laboratory projects offered. Uh, so here, uh, you see the plan itself, and there is one also one more opportunity. The university, I have not included it in the chart because it is already something beyond uh, the laboratory uh, and our study plan. The university itself offers uh, quite a significant pool of courses, elective courses, or some additional courses for the students of the university. So uh, two times a year, students may go uh, when this uh, selection window is open and choose uh, some additional courses they would like to study. And those courses also can be taken as the credits, but definitely uh, on agreement with the academic supervisor and the manager of the program. So it has to be coordinated, but at least this is quite a great opportunity also to expand probably the educational scope. And um, considering our summer school, uh, for example, when I was giving a lecture, I mentioned where this knowledge can be gained and applied uh, in our study plan for my specific course. But I think that right now you also see some courses which could be really important to enhance, build, expand the skills and knowledge in a specific area. Uh, well, then I think I will just very briefly mention the application process. We start our school year on October 1st. All online programs, they start on October 1st. The application process for submitting documents is open till September 15th. And then we have 10 more days for final documents evaluation, uh, signing contract, and pain uh, for the studies. At the end of the September, at the end of September, I think uh, that will be the last week, we will arrange something like orientation uh, week for our students. So on October 1st, we could smoothly move already to the studies. Uh, for our program, uh, we do not have any selection in terms of special examination. Uh, we uh, assess portfolio, so it is possible to enroll into our program if you submit um, uh, the related documents mentioned here as a portfolio and get evaluated uh, according to these uh, documents. We have here basic education, so bachelor degree definitely is required. So that is a must that something has to be either bachelor degree or a specialist degree uh, if someone has completed not bachelor degree but five years degree uh, and then additional documents such as motivation letter letters of recommendation cv uh, some proof of english so here we are very flexible it is not required to submit TOEFL or IELTS so it could be some alternative services uh, which help to assess knowledge of English or this could be about some additional documents proving the knowledge of English if one of the official language in your country is English so this is basically not required if you for if your previous uh, diploma for example previous education was in English uh, but if it was in Russian yes you need to prove somehow the knowledge of English. And I would say here also from basing on our experience and basing on the questions uh, that we had from our applicants, uh, B2 um, level of knowledge, of English knowledge, is uh, quite acceptable to study in this program. Here, just a small remark. If you have some additional knowledge in programming or statistics or something else, so when you start studies, maybe B2 will be um, okay for you, uh, and maybe you will feel much uh, better and comfortable. or statistics so that is just a remark because uh some so here probably it is also possible to consider from this angle 
And a couple of last remarks. Uh, just a reminder, we have a Telegram, cha uh, Telegram channel, Masna Admissions. I think some of you joined already. Uh, some of you have already joined uh, because we, for example, refer to some publications and you knew about those publications. We try to provide really high quality content for our Telegram channels. So mass not admissions, uh, it is in English, but we publish there the news not only about admission process. So we try to inform about some other events and also support somehow this interest in social network analysis. And we have another channel, Nodes and Links in Russian. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a channel which is devoted much more to the content about the research area. And finally, a couple of last remarks. As I mentioned in the beginning, when we started our summer school, how you can gain receive earn this certificate of completion so we issue uh the certificate as you see right now on the screen right uh we issue the certificate for the entire school length of the school five days but to receive such a certificate you need to complete several steps so you need to actually it is one step but probably here i just separated different criteria so we ask here to submit an essay covering uh, at least one session from each of our thematic days. And um, this essay should somehow present your view, analysis, your reflections, maybe your attitude towards material presented. We have already mentioned that probably uh, some of the listeners and participants of our school may submit this essay in Russian if you feel more comfortable with Russian. So we will accept that in Russian. So please uh, send this essay to our research assistant, Olga. So here you see her um, email. Uh, Olga Malatkova. Uh, we ask kindly to do that before July 12th. So we finish today. You have three more days to complete this essay and send to Olga. After that, we will evaluate the essay and issue the certificate. So I think that I will finish here. We would like to wish you good luck. Uh, enjoy learning with our lab. And uh, I forgot uh, just a quick remark about materials, which are available right now as recorded streams uh, on YouTube. Uh, initially, we thought that we will keep them open till Sunday, till tomorrow when our school finishes. <clears throat> but we discussed a little bit and we also had some requests already in the mail. We uh, keep those uh, recordings open for the last next week. So you have already uh, entire next week and you have enough time to work on your essays. So we keep them open next week uh, as well. I think one plus one week. After that, we will rearrange the materials and probably do some thematic playlists um, and we will see how those how, how that playlist will look like what we will include in the playlist on our youtube channel subscribe also to our youtube channel now uh, there are quite a lot of video videos already uh interesting educational informative uh for example there is quite a large playlist uh for pike program teaching how to work uh, in this program from scratch. For, so if you're interested uh, in this program, just go and find this playlist uh, on our YouTube channel. There are some more additional videos how to work in Gephi as well. I think they're also taught by Tamara. Well, I think that is it here. I'm going to finish. Thank you, guys. I see your comments in the chat. You are really, really great. Thank you very much for your engagement. So we are really happy to work with such motivated participants. So, yes, I think I will stop here, Daria. Maybe last yeah, word thank you, thank you, on behalf of you. So, well, I just have uh, to say uh, goodbye. and but, but we really wish to see you once again at our 
events, our uh, mm -hmm. actually seminars that we are holding every Monday here in uh, just regularly. Uh, and so of course, uh, in our summer school or during some special courses that we are also going to organize a little bit later. So we really hope that we will not lose each other and we will start so 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 that this school will start uh, the collaboration at least with some of you. So it will be a really great result. And we uh, hope that we manage to show you all the not only the not, not probably not all but at least part of the things that you can do with network analysis and probably you will go deeper into it and you will like it and um, you will be working uh, working in it i didn't didn't uh, have a chance to tell about my personal story but actually it all started uh, in 2012 uh, when i uh, first time uh, went to the summer school in social network analysis. So before the, the, before this, I didn't have any idea of what it is. And um, yeah, uh, then it, it it actually changed my life quite quite a lot because I found a lot of friends and a lot of uh, people with whom I'm uh, in contact right now. And even my husband is also going from uh, that uh, summer school. Unfortunately, you didn't have a chance to see each other face to face otherwise. We don't know uh, what will be the story, but uh, we propose you to, uh, to to come back to the lab and uh, to see each other here. And who, who knows what, what will happen? So, dear colleagues, thank you very much and good luck and have uh, have a great time, great summer. Yes. And see you. See you. Uh, we, we hope to see you again. I have. I, I'm sorry. Just, uh, just a quick remark because we also had those requests, uh, dear participants. We decided that we are not going to send out all the materials because we have quite extensive list of registrations. We will send out the links to the recordings once again, so those which are available. But if you were interested in a specific session, right, and you were asking for some specific presentation, so please. Uh, you may contact uh, directly the lecturer uh, because, well, the emails, they, they are available on the website, so it is possible to contact uh, directly or just uh, write this individual letter either to me or maybe to Olga Molotkova, our assistant, and we will contact the lecturer and send you directly this uh, presentation you are interested in. So this is because uh, some projects, they're still ongoing and we, we do not feel very, very comfortable publishing and distributing the materials. Everything is available in a recording, but on individual request because some lecturers, they promise that they may share. So please, write to us and we will transfer your request for them yeah yeah but but the only one comment would be that uh, unfortunately now i think since uh, last year the uh, emails of the uh, yeah the emails are not shown in uh, hesaya website uh, but uh, in our mail that we will send to all the participants uh, after the school, we will just mention all the uh, instructors one, once again, and also there will, will be this uh, email uh, of uh, Olga and Irina and myself, so just feel free to, uh, yes. to write us. And also, yeah. I think we will make some instructions, like if you want to do this, just write here and so on. So yeah, we will, the, the, we will of course, provide all the materials that we are going to provide. Uh, but as you see, we had 30, uh, 350 registrations, so it's wise just uh, to not, not to share it so large, but uh, for those who attended the school. And who yeah, are interested, yes, in yeah, a specific yeah. topic, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for now, it's that's it. Uh, it was a great time. <laughs> yeah. So thank so, you. Thank you, thank everyone. You. Thank you. Yes. Oh my God, sorry, yeah. sorry. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, someone already said that, but we're going to make some social media posts about the summer school. 
And uh, if you would be, some of you would may give us some comments about it, could you please write to me on Telegram? I'll just uh, post my tag, or maybe you can write us in some other places and share your uh, experience and we will uh, post it at our social media. I would be very happy if you did that. Okay, okay. Can you write your, uh-huh, yeah, Daria. Yeah. Dasha. Uh, Daria, thank you. Thank you very much for this remark and comment. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think I think then it is that, that's it. And yes. yeah, the, the last the last thing that I would say, <laughs> I would also like to um, say the words of my appreciation to Irina and Olga and all other members of the laboratory who took part. Uh, who who really worked um, uh, so effectively and presented, uh, made their presentations and also worked somewhere behind. So probably not uh, showing their work, but organizing this uh, great event. And uh, so with all of you, we really managed to do it in a very nice way. Of course, we can um, work further. It's always possible. But actually, we think that uh, we are pretty happy with our school. So Irina and uh, Daria and uh, all others, other members, Olga, whom I and Georgi, who are here from the lab, I just want to say, and Alexander, of course, I just want to say thank you and uh, yeah. And definitely all yeah. our faculty, all our staff uh, who yeah, produce sure. amazing, amazing, really amazing content for our social media. So I'm impressed and I'm happy and yes, I can praise it for quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with these great words, let's say goodbye to each other and yeah. Yes, you. thank you guys very I much.